안녕하세요, everyone. This is Jia. On my previous video, we made this all-purpose spicy Korean sauce. This is actually a magic sauce that can be used in all spicy Korean dishes. And today, I'm going to show you two different dishes that can be made using this sauce. We need one block of firm tofu. First, remove the liquid from tofu and then slice it into one inch thick. Onion and tofu goes pretty well. Thinly slice half onion and half stock of green onion. Add one and a half tablespoons of oil and place tofu to the pan. We're going to cook it until brown on both sides. When tofu is cooked, add onion to the pan and dissolve 1 tablespoon of the spicy sauce in half cup of vegetable stock. Then pour it to the pan and let it simmer for about 2 to 3 minutes. Then add green onion and sesame oil. We're gonna turn off the heat and transfer the braised tofu to a plate. This dish goes well with a bowl of cooked rice. Just sprinkle a little bit of toasted sesame seeds before serving. Next, I want to show you how to make small portion tteokbokki. Cut the rice cake into two inch thick. It's about one cup. And this is Korean fish cake omuk. You can cut it in any shape. I'm cutting them in triangle. The Korean fish cake is made of browned fish fillet mixed with vegetables, seasoning, and flour. It tastes savory with soft texture. A fish cake is also measured as a cup. Chop half stock of green onion, which is about half cup. In a small pan, add one cup of water, one and a half tablespoons of spicy sauce, and dissolve it in the water. Add the rice cakes in the pan and bring it to a boil. It's been cooked for about 3 minutes. When the rice cakes turn soft, throw fish cakes and green onion to the pan. Mix it. And add 1 teaspoon of brown sugar and cook until the sauce thickens for about 3 to 5 minutes. This tteokbokki recipe must be one of the easiest ones. Braised tofu and tteokbokki was made in 20 minutes. The best part about this sauce is the time that saved me. Make sure to store the sauce in a refrigerator. Thank you for watching. See you again.